Hi, just going to give you a video to talk about the uh, intraday volume change indicator for TradeStation. This is basically an indicator that kind of lets you see for uh, an intraday period how the volume is changing with respect to the same period over the prior uh, days. For example, I think the default is like a 15 um, period moving average, so if you did like a 30 minute bar that'd be the, f the first 30 minutes for the prior 15 days is where the a average would be calculated from. So and, uh, you can this works for the charts and for a radar screen and uh, here's my email and uh, website to get some more information or if you have any questions and also wanted to uh, just show you this here's the um, the legal stuff just would uh, encourage you to to pause the video and read through this basically we're saying everything we do is uh, for educational purposes only we're not giving any kind of uh, trading or investing advice everything you do is fully your responsibility and you're f uh, responsible for finding the uh, the help from the appropriate people to to help you out with that and again everything we do is educational only nothing is uh, is intended to be a uh, recommendation to buy or sell anything Okay, just have a, uh, a uh, trade station workspace pulled up with the uh, indicator on radar screen and uh, in the uh, chart itself. And this is being uh, recorded on, uh, <coughs> at, <coughs> I'm sorry, at the close of the market on January 2nd, 2018. And just wanted to show like a Netflix here. You can see, um, you know, obviously had a nice jump up. And then we can just see that the, uh, the volume was greater than average. And... Uh, greater than the percentage the uh, you can see we can look at the uh, see the inputs here and basically this set is set to uh, these are the default settings to, uh, to look at the prior 15 days for whatever you know bar that we're interested in again this is a 30 minute chart so it would be the uh, the uh, appropriate 30 minute bar for the prior 15 days and then the th threshold is saying that uh, if the volume for today's bar exceeds um, the uh, average by a hundred percent then we're gonna make note of it and uh, show it with a color here and uh, when it's above the threshold it's magenta and then uh, you can set this obviously to whatever color you want uh, the normal histogram when it's not above this threshold and then uh, if the uh, volume is above average just in general above average then you can set it to a green or red that's the default so uh, just say OK for those and we'll close that. So you can see for today Netflix really had a, a big move and a nice uh, jump in volume so the uh, average was above I mean the current day's volume was above average so we get the green indication here and then it was also above the threshold of 100 percent so we get the uh, colored uh, histogram here and you can see that over here as well you can see where we're at 119 percent and this is set for 30 minute bars so that would be on this last uh, closing bar of the day we were 119 percent above the normal uh, average for that bar for the uh, prior you know 15 days for that closing bar and just to you know explain right here you can see this is red because the uh, this day's average is just slightly below the the average and then it peaks up above so it turns green so this is just kind of showing you when with respect to whatever the average is and then the colored bars are showing you if we're having a you know a really big uh, change in volume compared to uh, to uh, the prior uh, number of days you pick in your moving average and you can see also Cena had a big day today you can see boom you know we get the volume right off the bat we're way above normal nice move up on this opening 30 minute bar and just continues trucking on up and you know prior days it was just kind of really nothing spectacular you know a little above average below average below average below average and let's see I don't know look at Facebook you know above average but it didn't break the threshold you can see that we were you know 45 about 45 percent above average so still you know a nice move and obviously if you wanted to change this threshold you could um, this is just highlighting you know the stocks that are that have moved above the thresholds with the uh, magenta color so um, let's see that was Facebook I don't know Microsoft you can see just slightly above average so we see the 7.8 percent uh, above average and again prior days was really below average so you get the red indicator over here so that's basically how it works um, so it's like I said it's just a, a good indicator to show you on an intraday time frame is the current bar you know something's 
uh, spectacular basically compared to the prior day's bar and just is just set to a 30 minute chart so again this is comparing you know the 15 prior 30 minute bars of the same time frame so you know the opening bar compared to all the prior opening bars the next bar and uh, you can set this uh, for any any time that you want um, let's see I'll change it I don't know we'll change it to a 10 minute chart and you can see you get obviously more bars and you can see with the 10 minute and we'll do click on Netflix you can see even on a five minute uh, bar you know boom it obviously had this nice gap up and just kept on running you know basically I guess we kinda had a nice move here what maybe oh two or three dollar move pretty quick here in the opening in the morning and then we kinda settled out so again you know take a look at it there's a free trial period um, if you have any questions, you can go back to the start of this video and send me an email, suggestions for improvements, different features, whatever. Uh, give me a, uh, send me an email and I'll consider all that. And uh, again, thanks for watching.